Welcome to this video in which we're going to answer the question that is on this slide. So let's look at the question because um, there is a bit of information here. So we have given a function f of x and y, so a function of two variables given by x times the cosine of y minus y times exponential function of x. And we are given a point, a point p, that has as its coordinates x equals a, which is 0, y equals b, which is pi over 2, and then the function value at a and b. So the function at x equals 0 and y equals pi over 2. And what we are being asked is to uh, find the equation of the tangent plane to the graph of this function. So we can draw the function, which is some, some kind of surface in space. The point P is located on this surface because the coordinates are A, B, and the corresponding function value. And then we can draw the tangent plane there. So we have to do a couple of things here. First of all, let us compute what this here is. So we need to compute f of 0 and pi over 2. So just plugging that in into the equation for the function, we find e equals 0 times cosine pi over 2 minus pi over 2 exponential of 0. 0 times something is 0, so that disappears. e to the power 0 is 1, so we find minus pi over 2. So apparently the point P, where we need to find the tangent plane, has the coordinates P equals 0, pi over 2, minus pi over 2. Now, what we are being asked is the tangent plane. And hopefully you recall that the general equation for the tangent plane Let's move me to the other side. So the tangent plane of uh, a general function is z equals the df dx. So we have to differentiate the function with respect to x at the point we're interested in, a, b times x minus a plus df dy at a, b times y minus b. And then finally, if you plug in x equals a, y equals b, you should find the function value. So we get plus f a, b. Now, if you look at the equation we have here, you see that I still need to compute these partial derivatives. So let's do that. Let's first compute the df dx. So this is the equation of the tangent plane. And apparently, I'll be needing the df dx. So I have to differentiate the function f, where I consider y to be a constant and x is the variable. So the um, function is here, x cosine y minus y e to the power x. So if we differentiate, we have x times cosine y. Cosine y is just a constant. So I get this because the derivative of x is 1. Minus y is again a constant, e to the power x. And then I'm going to be needing this derivative at the point a, b. So I'm going to be needing the df dx at the point a, b, which is 0 pi over 2. So that's going to give me the cosine of pi over 2 minus pi over 2 e to the power 0. So what we get is minus pi over 2 because the cosine of pi over 2 equals 0. That's the cosine of 90 degrees. Then lastly, I'm going to be needing the df dy. So I'm going to differentiate this function here, but now with respect to y, so x becomes a constant. So what we get is minus x times the 
sine of y, because if you differentiate the cosine, you get minus the sine, minus e to the power x, and the derivative of y is simply 1. So plugging in df dy, plugging in x equals 0, y equals pi over 2, we find minus 0 minus e to the power 0, so this becomes minus 1. And now we're mostly done, because I have all the bits and pieces that I need to plug in into this formula. So I'm going to replace the df dx with minus pi over 2. I'm going to replace the df dy with minus 1. And this fab here, I computed it up here, and that's minus pi over 2. So what do we get? Um, let's put that on a new page. So I'm going to find for the tangent plane z equals, so the df dx is minus pi over 2 times x minus a, so that becomes x minus 0, which is simply x. Then minus the df dy becomes minus 1 times y minus pi over 2, and then plus the function value, which becomes minus pi over 2. So I have minus pi over 2 times x, minus y, and then here I have minus times minus is plus pi over 2, minus pi over 2, so that simply disappears. So the conclusion is that we have the tangent plane Conclusion, conclusion, so we have minus pi over 2x minus y minus z equals 0. So that is the answer to this question, and that is one of the options. Let's go back to the previous slide and see which one it is. So we have minus pi over 2 times x minus y minus z equals 0. So apparently... Um, answer D is the correct answer for this question. That wraps up this video. I'll see you in the next one.